This video demonstrates the new Demographic Map Visualizer Statlet that's been added to Stack Graphics Centurion version 17. Maps are an excellent way to display demographic data. This map shows the percentage of the population in each country in the Western Hemisphere that lives in rural rather than urban areas. It's a map for the year 2000. You can see that the rural population varies from a low of about 10 percent in countries like Venezuela and Argentina to a high of 50 percent in several countries in both Central America and South America. If you want to display changes over time, you might think of creating a multiple scatter plot like this one. It's very busy though and it's difficult to see much more than the fact that the rural population in most countries has declined between 1960 and 2010. The demographic map visualizer, which I'm about to demonstrate for you, shows changes in multiple time series by making the demographic map dynamic. I've loaded data from the World Bank into the Stack Graphics data sheet. The file contains information on 28 countries in the Western Hemisphere between the years 1961 and 2009. The column labeled Rural Population is the data that I'd like to display. I'll now go to the top menu and select Statlets Demographic Map Visualization. This opens up a Data Input dialog box. The data to be analyzed are placed in the Data field. Slicer is a variable I want to slice on, in this case year. Identifier identifies the regions on the map, and I'm going to use country code. The boundary file field is a place where I need to put the name of a file containing definitions of the map. Pushing browse, you'll see that I have a boundary file called Americas, which is in BNA format. Version 17 can create maps for any BNA boundary file that you have available. When I press OK, the statlet will open. The first thing I need to do is resize the map so the aspect ratio is proper. I'll move things around a little bit here, stretch the map in the vertical direction so the countries look more like they should. The next thing I'll do is change the color definitions. I'm going to press the right mouse button, go to Analysis Options, and on the dialog box, change the gradient fill to be 0 to 70 by 10. I'll also change the missing value treatment, so if there's missing data in any year, it'll plot the same value as in the previous year. I could also smooth the data if I wanted to, but I won't in this case. I'll just press OK and get a better map. In 1961, you see quite a bit of red, orange, and yellow in Central and South America. Back in 1961, many of those countries had rural populations above 50%. I can now take the slider on the Statlet toolbar and change it to plot any year that I like. Better yet, I can go back to 1961, push the right arrow on the Statlet toolbar, and the data will automatically change and cycle through the years 1961 to 2010. You'll see most of the reds and oranges and yellows disappear, a lot more greens and blues uh, appear in the different countries. By the time we get to the year 2010, there's only one red country left. These types of dynamic graphs show a lot more than any static graph ever could. 